Okay, children as young as five are now eligible for a COVID booster shot. The CDC signed off on a third dose from Pfizer yesterday for kids five to 11 years old. Less than 30% of children in that age group are fully vaccinated. Pfizer data shows the shot is safe and kids who got it developed antibodies to fight the Omicron variant specifically. The recommendation comes as cases of COVID-19 are once again on the rise. For more insight into that story and our other health headlines, we want to bring in Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. It is good to see you, Dr. Winter. Good to see you. So first off, let's talk about this uh, booster in, in regards to kids. So do you think that they should receive the booster and is timing related to the two vaccine series here? Yeah, the FDA made their recommendation based on the fact that the uh, immune system was boosted significantly. Antibody levels went up quite dramatically if they got, when the kids got a booster. Also, they found no serious side effects. So who should get it? Well, what they're saying, if your second Pfizer vaccine as a child was five months ago or more, you should get a booster. Now, should everybody get one? Well, I think parents ought to consider this. If your child gets sick, they'll probably do well, but they might have to stay home, miss school, be inconvenienced for a week. And some kids are gonna get seriously ill. So I think it's something you ought to consider. If your kids have any kind of immunodeficiency, you definitely should get this. If they're around parents or grandparents who are sick and frail and they might spread it to them, they definitely should consider it there also. So think about this carefully with your child. It works well and it has no serious side effects at all. Uh, Dr. Winter, we hear that COVID cases continue to rise. I know several people, even just in the last week, who've told me that they have tested positive. So how serious is this at this point? How concerned are you? Yeah, I am concerned, Sonia. You know, right now these Omicron subvariants that are circulating are highly contagious. Now, fortunately, they don't cause a serious illness in most folks, but a small number do get sick. And as the total cases increase, that number of people who get seriously ill is a higher number. Right now, we're seeing 100,000 new cases reported every day. That's three times what it was a month ago and 275 deaths, 275 deaths every day. So I am concerned about this, Sonia. We need to take precautions and be careful. Well, Dr. Winter, what about someone like me? I mean, I'm, I'm waiting to try to get that fourth shot, my second booster. Any word on when that might be available? We're getting a lot of mixed information about that. What I'm telling patients, Sonia, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and get it. Now, how bad do you need it? Well, it depends on who you're around, how much you get out there. We think probably we'll all need to get one about once a year, but should you get it five or six months after your third uh, vaccine or your, or your third or your booster shot? Um, it's, it's up to you and how, how comfortable you feel in your environment right now, how safe that you think that you are. Yeah, and I think just with events and travel and summer, everyone is sort of everywhere right now, whether it's inside, outside. So, um, yeah, if it's available, I think that would be a good idea for a lot of people. Um, Dr. Winter, I want to switch gears now. Monkeypox has been uh, reported in this country mm. and in other countries as well. So what is going on here? How serious of a disease is this? Yeah, it's related to smallpox, but thank goodness it's not as serious as smallpox. It causes minor illness in most folks. People get well in two or three weeks, but it can be disfiguring. It starts out with flu-like illness, then you get some swollen lymph nodes, then you get these blebs that pop out on your face, the soles of your feet, palms of your hands. When those rupture and form an open sore, it's highly contagious there too. Very few cases right now, so we we'll need to keep an eye on this. We think it comes from squirrels, monkeys, of course, maybe rabbits and rodents. We're not sure where it really comes from. Need to keep an eye on this, but so far, not very many cases yet reported. Okay, Dr. Winter, thanks for your time today. Good to see you.